I'm Bobby Ghosh, editor of Time International. Bashar al-Assad, the dictator of Syria, was one of the most influential people in the world in 2013, and that's why he's on the shortlist for Time Magazine's Person of the Year. 2013 is the year in which the civil war in Syria turned almost decisively in Assad's favor. It's a year in which he gassed his own civilians, killing scores of people and essentially have the Western world accept his continued rule of Syria. The deal he made, brokered by Russia, to give up Syria's chemical weapons effectively allows him to remain in power because he's the only person who can actually guarantee that deal. The movement against Assad is splintered into many groups and the most effective are Al-Qaeda-linked terrorists. And that is what makes it very hard for the rest of the world to give his enemies the support and the military strength they need to overcome Assad. He also has one thing that makes him incredibly dangerous. The appetite to kill tens of thousands of his own people with no compunction. That sectarian war is playing out in other countries as well most notably in Iraq and also in Lebanon, which also borders Syria. Assad's continued survival is a slap in the face of President Obama and the Western countries that have said repeatedly that he must go. He's still there. Edward Snowden made Edith Times shortlist for person of the year this year. In late spring and early summer, Edward Snowden, a contractor for Bruce Allen Hamilton, who was working for the National this summer, Security Agency, the began contacting reporters around the, the world saying he wanted to give them information. He basically took, as one person told me,